I'm meteorologist Marissa Hess in the First Alert Weather Center. Scattered thunderstorms today, but heavier rain yet to come. Details coming up after the break. So we continue to track this sail. It's moving to the northeast right now at about 15 miles per hour. So it's not a really fast mover, but it's putting down a lot of heavy rain, some flooding conditions and also some gusty winds. And our radar has detected a little bit of rotation here over the last 10 or 15 minutes. So let's go to meteorologist Marissa Hess. Meteorologist uh, Marissa Hess standing by live now. Marissa, this looks like this could maybe be a tornado. We're not sure if it's on the ground yet or not, but it's something we certainly want to watch in the central sections of Pendleton County right now. Right, so this is a really strong system that we see behind me. Uh, where you see the red is a cell system that could produce a tornado. Um, with that being said, it's producing heavy rainfall and heavy winds as well. So gusty winds and a report 15 minutes ago said that a roof was blown off a barn. So it's very serious um, and we'll continue tracking this. I'm meteorologist Marissa Hess in the WHSV First Alert Weather Center. Flood threat is increasing as the rain continues falling in the highlands. Will it affect your home? Find out after the break. Good evening, I'm meteorologist Marissa Hess. Well, today was a comfortable day for the valley and we had temperatures staying around the mid 60s for today. We had some cloud cover, but we were staying dry. But compared to what we had going on in the south, this low pressure system was pounding this area with rain. Uh, you can see the counterclockwise rotation around the low, drawing in that moisture and causing about two to three inches of rain along the coast of the Carolinas, as well as half an inch in southern Virginia. Um, again, this is very lucky. We stay dry as we take a look at Shenandoah National Park, the image that we have there. Just some intermittent clouds, really, and um, stay dry, some sunshine, or mostly sunshine for uh, this day. But for tonight, or for right now, temperatures, we have 63 degrees. Currently, uh, uh, temperatures will continue to drop as the clouds dissipate from the area. However, uh, the winds have lightened up um, from the northeast. Earlier, they were about 15 miles per hour, and now they have lessened to about six miles per hour about. Um, and then for the weather watchers have called in uh, 63 in Fishersville, 63 in Stanton and 64 in Timberville. And uh, for Stanley, they're at 63, LeRae 64, and Franklin, you are at 65, and Petersburg 69 degrees. And for our hour by hour forecast, you see clouds currently. However, by Sunday night, they will have completely um, dissipated from the area, and you'll have a, a sunny or mostly sunny Sunday to celebrate your holiday. But for tonight, it'll be a nice, cool, crisp night. Not too cool. 41 in Harrisonburg, 39 in Stanton, and 39 in Petersburg. So it's going to be a comfortable night, uh, certainly. However, uh, if you want to crack the windows open, I think it would be a great night to do that. Just turn off the heat and enjoy the night. And clouds will continue to thin as we head into Sunday's. Uh, Sunday's highs, 60 in Petersburg, 64 in Harrisonburg, and 63 in Woodstock. And it's uh, looking like a great day to celebrate celebrate this holiday. Uh, abundant sunshine really uh, and light winds. So get the kids outside to do their Easter egg hunts and uh, whatever activities like you, you like to partake in. And for our seven day outlook, sunrise at Easter Sunday, 633 in the morning. It's going to be a really pleasant uh, week for the uh, next few days weather wise. A cold front brings some rain on Tuesday. However, it's only 40% chance and we didn't mark it as an inconvenient weather day just because we don't expect it to be making your day inconvenient really. Monday, 71 degrees. Tuesday, cooling just slightly, 40% showers due to that minor cold front we have moving through the area. Wednesday and Thursday looking good at the upper 60s. And then Friday and Saturday, a nice start to your weekend in the lower 70s. 